Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 3 of my technical survival series. It's my survival series where I will build my base up, get it very automated, and build a whole bunch of technical stuff. Um, if you didn't watch our last episode, we fought the Ender Dragon, and in this episode we're going to build an Enderman XP farm. It's called the Ender Ender V2. So... I'm not going to build the old version with the sticky pieces and everything. It's just going to use one endermite and a 33 by 33 platform. It was built by Doc M77, I believe. So I'll link that video down into the description if you want to build it yourself. But before we start this episode, I want to show you what I've done off camera. And it's to do with the nether. So as you can see, I am at... 136399 okay so 136399 and if we just travel through here um i'll get i got a whole bunch of packed ice nine stacks but now i've only got <coughs> almost two stacks left so as you can see i'm traveling super fast here so one three nine three nine nine. If we can just use this thing properly. Oh, oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't have food, and now I have to walk slow. So I'll just skip this part and meet you once I get to the location. Okay, I'm here. So if I just go up this ladder, I saw you build the outer area. As you can see, I've built like this whole thing here. So yeah, that took quite a while, and it goes up to the this portal up here. Okay, so I haven't travelled far. I've only travelled about two hundred blocks away from where the other portal is. So I've travelled two hundred blocks, and as you can see, bam, three thousand three twenty-five. And this would take me to a mesa biome. So I've set up a um, synchronized portals to get me here. And I've also got portals to go to an ocean temple, which I still need to link it up in the nether. But I've set the portals like far away. An ocean temple, an acacia, I think it's called, bi uh, forest, and a our spike biome, which is at 7,000, and right now we're at 3,000, so it's 4,000 blocks away, plus 2,500 blocks in this direction. It was a lot of walking, I can actually show you. You see, uh, distance walks, 113 kilometers, that is 113,000 blocks. So, that's just a number for you to think about. So I'm just going to head back to the base and we will get some building blocks to actually build the Enderman XP farm. Yeah, that one. So I'll meet you then. Okay, so I thought before we went to the end, I thought we'd just enchant an axe and a shovel. So as you can see, we have our dummy axes and shovels. Just in case the enchantments look bad. And I've got 70 levels from the Ender Dragon fight. So here we go. Let's just try the shovel first. Efficiency 3. No, thank you. And. Okay. Let's see what else we've got now. Oh, unbreaking. Nope. I just want to see efficiency 4. That, that's all. Fortune? What can I use fortune for? Um, rather not. It's not for the purpose I want to use the thing for. So it's rather hit that. There we go. Efficiency for salt touch. That doesn't help. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's give that then. Efficiency for. There we go. That's that's the shovel I wanted. So there we go. That's a good enchanting session. Um. I'm not, I'm not very happy about this shovel though. Okay, so let's go ahead 
and make an another shovel, a diamond shovel. And let's try get on breaking three on this thing. So should it just be like that. And let's try do this. I'm breaking three. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was a bit of overkill. So I guess I've got a slip touch shovel and an unbreaking three thing. So I think that was a good enchanting uh, session. And I'll get back to you at the snow biome. Yes, we are not at the snow biome, but I went there by myself because I thought it would be pointless to record because I was only there for like a few seconds really so what I've done is just got some snow I've set up this thing it is in the r river biome um, sure just make sure uh oh wait is this guy going to be in the plains biome though let's make sure damn it okay let me just get my silk touch one so it actually did come in useful and now I have to rebuild this thing. Yay. Okay, so let's just chop that. Bump. So he needs to be standing in the river biome. Otherwise he won't produce snow under him. Or well, at least that's what the forum says. So, so all of this here plains. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I can try work with that. I can, oh, actually, why don't I just do this? One, two, three, four. There we go. And I can just quickly chop that. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was a bit crazy. I shouldn't do that. And there we go. Um... Let me just blend it in a bit, do a bit of landscaping, and there we go, that looks normal. Alright, so I'm going to place the snow golem here. That'd be good. Yeah. Okay, so one, two, and let's just build the structure around him. So first of all, this would have to be stone, stone, stone. Stone, 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 stone. Um, dirt there for a bit, and that. Then all I have to do is break this stone and put it like that. And now, if I just boom, awesome, he doesn't die. Okay, so I just fell. I don't need that. I thought he would die in the sun. But actually, I do need that just in case it rains. Psh. Okay, so. Ah, I'm not good at placing blocks, am I? Hmm. And there. Okay, perfect. And now we are going to test it out. Is this muscle touch? Yes, let's rather use this. And just go right on the edge so we don't kill him. There we go. Whoa, and with fortune, actually, I'm pretty sure I get more snowballs, don't I? Whoa. How am I going to get the snowballs at the back? Hmm. Could I... Interesting, okay. So what I'm going to do is just collect a whole bunch of snow blocks. And hopefully in the next cut, I will see you at the end so I will get back to you once I'm done with this okay guys I finally got my three packs of snow and we are going to build this thing and to those of you who's got a keen eye you probably noticed that I don't have three packs of snow because you saw my shovel durability I actually have a full inventory of the stuff it only took about 10 minutes so that golem was pretty awesome. The endermen are scaring me. <sighs> what am I going to do? Anyways, I would have had four stacks if I didn't have to hold the eye vendor. Actually, I've got an idea. Down you go. 
And he's gone. Okay, so apparently what I need to do is bridge 150 blocks away from the island. Don't look at them. And once I have done that, then I can start building the farm. And the farm will be absolutely awesome. So you can see here's my, this is where I spawned, my inventory is full, and I'm going to get to work, and once I'm 150 blocks away, I will get back with you. Look at me, staring at the Enderman, and he's not doing anything. That's because, actually I don't know why. What the? <laughs> well, yeah, I got the smart plan of just going back. And getting a pumpkin, because there was no way I'm risking losing all of the snow to a freaking Enderman sneak, sneaking up on me, and poof, everything's gone, even all these. So, I just went back and got a pumpkin. And now, I'm building an F1 mode, so I thought, I thought that would be smart, and all I have to do is press F1, get to the block I need, and then also get into the position, obviously. Like so... And then I would just do this. So, yeah, now what we're going to do is build the platform that they're going to land on when they fall. So, let me just think. It needs to be one, two, three. It needs to be seven long. So, there we go. Seven long. This is the platform that they're going to land on. And then we're going to have a gap like that and then I will be oh whoops oh wait and then the minecart track thing would be here and they would all be standing here so let's just go ahead and place a few blocks like so if I can if I can do that there we go so there we go that's perfect and that is going to be the pad that they're going to be landing on and where I am going to kill them. So land, space, minecart, another space, another space, just in case. And there we go. So now what I need to do is go get a whole bunch of slabs, which I'll just go mine a whole bunch of stone with my silk touch pick and I will turn all of those into slabs. And I'll be back with you once I've built 40, uh, 43 blocks up? Yeah, 43 blocks up, and once I've got a bit of a basis up there, then I will be back with you. Okay, so I've gone 43 blocks up, and I've built the basis of a platform. So what I'm going to do is time-lapse me building the 33 by 33 area so let's start so three two one go
And it is done. It is made and counted to perfection. It's a 33 by 33 platform. And I think it's working with the spawning. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's working, but you know. Um, oh, this pumpkin is <laughs> really protecting me here. I mean, if I didn't have the pumpkin, I'd probably be dead long, long time ago. So. What I need to do now is go get some wood, fish for a name tag. No, actually, I actually think I might have found a name tag in a dungeon. So, okay, so we've got a name tag. We need rails, minecarts, and a golden apple, a notch apple, the big one, the enchanted one. We need one of those. And then I can actually come back here and carry on work. I just need some water and everything. So I'll be back with you once I've gotten everything I just said. Okay, so you probably noticed that I'm not in the end. That is because I want to show you my fishing rods that I enchanted and how many I enchanted. Bam! As you can see all of these are the dummy ones. Some break... Wait, what? Oh, no, that one sucked. Uh, otherwise, yeah. So those with unbreaking three enchants, the rest are just unbreaking one. But these ones are the good ones. So I've got one for just getting loot, I guess, and one for getting fish. And I think this one's a 50-50 thing between them, I don't know. So let's just do one fish thing. Just try catch one thing on camera and if it's a name tag, first try, which is very unlikely. That'll be awesome. So as you can see, something, something's popping here. And it's a salmon. So I'll get back to you once I'm at the end, hopefully. Okay, so after nine minutes or so of fishing, I finally got that name tag. And also I had to go mine a bit of gold to get my notch apple. So here we go. I'm going to do this on camera. We are going to create the endermite. Let's eat the apple. Hope I haven't forgotten anything. First, oh, what? Mini purple. That's what I named him. I thought that'll be fun. And now he is in there. Just let's see which way I need to push him out. Ooh. Okay, I'm, I've confused myself. Let's see. Oh, okay, it's this way. So uh, all I do is break this and push him down. There we go. The Endermen won't go for him yet because I am here, so they prioritize me over the Endermite. But once I'm gone, they should and hopefully go for him and fall down my trap. So I'm going to show you how this works. And I'm also going to link um, Doc M's video down in the description, as I've mentioned. Pretty sure I've mentioned that. If I haven't, then that's weird. Anyways. So, let's just go ahead and break these. I'm not wearing my pumpkin. Because apparently they're not that sensitive, I guess, with the looking situation. So, this is my way down. Okay, so basically this is raised up one block. So all the endermen can see the endermite. They can't just walk here because of the gap that's here, I guess. So what they have to do is walk through here and they view these um, trap doors as full blocks like this and they think they can get to the endermart because full blocks, don't know, there we go. They think these are full blocks and they would try to walk across but the fence would stop them and they would fall straight down. So. I'm going to meet you at the bottom and show you what it looks like in action. Okay, so here it is. All the endermen have come down. And as you can see...
it's working and it fills up really fast. Right now, inventory is full, as you can see. But I think in the next episode, we're going to probably redesign this place, make it look good, and also add hoppers down the side here so it collects my ender pearls for me. Let's just walk away from this area for now. It's pretty loud. So, I think that marks the end of this episode. Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> Why would that happen? I was looking down! Oh! Oh! All my stuff! Well, I guess that's how Minecraft works, doesn't it? Oh my... Why? <laughs> Why would this happen to me? <sighs> All that work. Getting ender pearls. Actually, it doesn't matter now. The farm is finished. I've lost all my enchanted tools though, but that's fine. Actually, everything's good. I'm, I'm not that sad that that has happened. The only thing that's going to get reduced here is the diamond count. So, that pretty much marks the end. I see how much chicken, 34, that's grand. Whew, I'm just thinking of other things that might be around, um, yeah, oh yeah, you've seen the fishing rods, that was crazy, that was absolutely crazy, um, yeah, yeah, also, maybe next episode I'm gonna sort out my storage system, get my life sorted out, and do a bit of enchanting, that's something to mention, the end of farm is done, so we're gonna do a bit of decorating there, maybe decorate the base a bit, cause right now it's... Um, obviously not finished so yeah thanks for watching if you enjoyed please a leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time <laughs>